z can be written as a plus b i where a and b are elements of all the real numbers now let's represent the argument of z as phi and the principal argument of z as theta remember a complex number can have as many arguments as possible but only one principal argument all right now to find the argument phi of this complex number we shall use the formula that says arg z is equal to arctan b over a and let's just find it that is equal to arc tan b is one if you compare this with that and a is root three so the argument is arctan one over the root of three and that gives us pi over six all right now to find the principal argument we must know which quadrant the argant diagram for this complex number lies in I'll just write the argant diagram right here. We have the imaginary part of Z for this axis, and we have the real part of Z on that axis. We have root three on the real part axis, and we have one on the imaginary axis, all right? So we have a point where they meet, all right? So that's the argant diagram for this complex number. You realize that the argant diagram lies in the first quadrant now the formula that you are going to use to find the principal argument are as follows in quadrant one we have theta the principal argument is equal to phi in quadrant two we say the principal argument theta is equal to pi minus phi and in the third quadrant Q3, we say the principal argument is equal to minus pi minus phi. And in the fourth quadrant, we say the principal argument is equal to minus phi. And we just found the value of phi. It is pi over six from that. And we are in the first quadrant. So theta is equal to phi. Then we say theta, the principal argument, is equal to pi over 6. We are done with this example.